Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Before we get started with demonstrating how to dump and restore data using MySQL Shell, we need to verify that the global variable named local in file is set to on. We do this by running the query show global variables like local in file. Note we are still in JavaScript mode, but we can run a query by prefacing the command with backslash SQL. If the local in file variable is set to off, we can turn it on by running the command backslash SQL set global local in file equals on. Now we will show some of the data in the database we want to dump and restore. We use backslash u sequila to switch to the sequila database. Then we run the query select star from actor limit two. We can see the two actors returned are Penelope Guinness and Nick Wahlberg. To dump our data, we use the util.dump schemas method. We are passing in two arguments. The first is an array of schema names we are dumping. In this case, we are just using the Sequila schema. The second argument is the path to where we want the dump to be saved. In this example, we are dumping the data to a folder named Sequila hyphen dump in a folder named dumps in my user's root folder. When we execute this command, we will see information about the dump. One advantage of using MySQL shell to dump and restore data is that the process is multi-threaded. This means it'll run faster than the old MySQL dump. To restore data that was exported using util.dump schemas, we use the util.loadDump method. We are passing two arguments to this method. The first is the path to the dump. You can see this is the same folder we use to dump the schema. The second is a JSON object used to specify options for the restore. In this case, we are telling MySQL shell to restore the dump to a schema named Sequila-2. As before, we see information about the restore when we run the command. I should note that the restore process is also multi-threaded. util.loadDump is also used to restore data dumped using util.dump instance and util.dump tables both of which will be covered in other videos. We can verify the restore by switching to the new schema using backslash u sequila hyphen two. Then we run the query select star from actor limit two. We see that Penelope Guinness and Nick Wahlberg are returned. You may want to use a more comprehensive test on your data to ensure the restore worked as expected. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.